These look so great. I can't wait. To, what, what the hell are you doing? They're, they're, that, 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 hey, hey. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are putting two unique gins head to head against each other in competition. Now, I will be turning these into gin sours with egg white. And you can remember, the egg white is optional. That's totally up to you. However, the first gin we're going to use is Empress 1908 gin from Victoria, British Columbia. The second one is Ungava gin from Northern Quebec with botanicals picked off the Ungava Peninsula. Two totally different colors, two totally different flavors. Now, when I look at these, I'm going to use the exact same ratios for everything. I really wanna see the difference and we're gonna get two incredible looks. I'm stoked and I hope you are too. So please make sure you stay all the way to the end so we can get see how they look and how they taste. The first thing you need is your shaking glasses and I'm going to be doing this head to head. Grab your jigger and then grab your gins of course. And for these you need two ounces or 60 milliliters. All right, look at that. The next thing you need is simple syrup. For this, I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar. And all you do is you just put them on a source of heat, let it cook until it's clear, don't boil it, and then let it cool and use to your heart's discontent. And we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Oh yeah. The next thing you wanna do is jam that off to the side, grab your lemon of choice and a knife. And what we'll do is we will squeeze the exact same amount. And what I mean by that is we'll use three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils, again, side by side. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Put that over there. The next thing you need are two eggs. Look at that. Dry my hands off. And sorry, I know normally when I do a sour, I would jag that back, but I don't feel like doing 151 at the moment because I need to shake these and do these properly. I know you're disappointed and I apologize. You know what? Maybe I'll leave it at the end and I'll do one just as I'm finished. So make sure you stay for the uh, outtakes. So we're gonna shake these. And we're gonna shake these hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, geez. Make sure you get some shake weighty action in there. And you gotta slam these down hard. Ooh, that was close. Neat trick. And what we wanna do is we wanna put two good sized cubes in. Now, I'm only using my hand just because I wanna make sure I get two decent sized cubes of ice for these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in, we're gonna shake these hard again for another 10 to 15 seconds. Whew. All right, the moment of truth is at hand. Grab your glasses. I'm gonna use two coops. And we're going to start this one with the Ngava. And the next one. Look at that. Wow. Move that over here. While that settles for a moment, I will just clean this. Look at these colors. Absolutely gorgeous. So while we're waiting for these to settle nicely, we're going to add some bitters. 
grab some Angostura bitters and an eyedropper, and we are going to put four drops of bitters on top of each one. Oh, look at that. I cannot wait. Four drops of bitters. Two gorgeous colors. I can't wait until this separates all the way. Oh, a minute later or so, and absolutely stellar to look at. Let's give them a smell. Um, which one do I want first? I'm right-handed, so I'll take this one. Look at that line. Oh, yes. So the very first thing you smell is some Angostura bitters, because it's right here. You smell a little bit of the gin and a little bit of the lime. Oh, mm. That's really good. Mm, mm. Let's try this one. You don't smell as much of the lime from this one, but you do smell the Angostura bitters. <clears throat> oh, in the flavor, you get more of the gin flavor from the Angaba than you do from the Empress 1908. And that is down entirely to the botanicals. <coughs> and um, totally the differences in flavor. Yeah, you just can't go wrong. The uh, bitters give you a great smell. The one thing that you will know, if you do this without egg white, the egg white changes the consistency for a silkier mouthfeel. The other thing it does is it blunts a little bit of the taste. So you need to be aware of those things. However, you could choose to use aquafaba which is chickpea juice, or a Magic Foaming Bitters, which you can buy online for around 30 some odd dollars. Um, two terrific gins, you know what? Let's try this again. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, the lemon is more muted in this one. It's just sweet, just tart, very well balanced. The gin is a little bit toned it down in flavor. So it blends really, really nicely. Mm. But the flavors are different in this one, as they should be two different gins, two different types of distillation methods, two different types of botanicals involved. The citrus comes more forward in the Ungava. Um, <clears throat> Please leave a comment down below. Tell me which one you think you would like. I think for flavor and complexity, I think the Ungava actually. But if you want to just sip something light and easy, the Empress 1908. Beautiful cocktails. They're absolutely gorgeous. They taste great. Please, and if you try them, leave a comment down below. What I will do is I will put the ingredients for both of these and the method of how to make it down in the description below. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks. And if you're interested in watching some more of our videos, please take a look off to the right here and uh, click on one of those videos and make sure that if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. We'll see you next time. And because I said I would shoot the egg yolk.